Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Your Queen Universalis 4. I am feeling a little bit better. Still under the weather, but the voice definitely seems to have been making a comeback. Okay, we are getting ready to attack the creek through the wonders of Norway, and then once I have this, I will um, be able to stage an attack against Norway. Ah, <laughs> look at how that'll happen. Leonis, Canada. I wonder if they have any... How much money am I making? 23 ducats, yeah. Let's unmothball un these. I know, I just mothballed them, but we're gonna do that and move them over to there and just kind of do some spying. Wow, that was particularly um, plosive P right there. Okay, um, you here are not doing me any good. I really need to get you over um, to this area so I can actually like attack Leon. Uh, let's unmothball these guys because it's about time we're gonna need a military or naval force. When we attack Leon, we will be attacking Alvarn, which I don't care, they're landlocked. Toulouse, I believe they're now also landlocked. Oh, no, they're on the coast. Okay, so Toulouse is on the coast. Alvarn is landlocked. Toulouse is effectively southern France and that part. Ferrara obviously has a naval force and Creek, right. What are Creek allied with? Leon, the Navajo, and the Pequot. Would you accept vassalization? No. They have more than 100 development. Now, wait a minute. Why doesn't it tell me that for Norway? Weird. Okay, um. So the Creek would take an alliance but not vassalization, so that doesn't do me any good. The Pequot would not even take an alliance. Well, forget you. And. Would not do that. Okay. These guys would, though, right? They would become vassals? Yes. All right. So we will vassalize them when we get over here. Uh, the Huron um, would probably ally us when we get over here, but not be out of that. Jerky are too big. The Aztec, of course, is the Aztec. Is this Creek territory? Yes. So the Creek have all of this. But Maya is over here. Is that Creek? No, that's Maya. All right. That's Aztec. Yeah, I can see it now. The Huron have an alliance with the Cherokee. Okay. So don't bother them. Pequot and the Navajo. Navajo are way over here. They would have an alliance. It's hilarious. They would not be a vassal. Is that the one province you have? I mean, what the hell? Um, Navajo are way up here, too. Leon is over here. God, Leon. Look at all of this. Well, this is Wasteland, though. This is not real. I mean, there's only, there's only a couple of things here. That's Wasteland. They're trying to colonize in here. There is still colonizable land over here. Some. Oh, Leon, you've got to be checked. Leon is actually bigger than you think. They're not huge by any means. I mean, they're not the power four. Although Egypt, Morocco, and Mali are kind of concerning. Is Mali westernized yet? No, but they are Muslim. Ooh, that's not good. Morocco's obviously Muslim. Okay, that's fine. Hungary's still here, barely. They were all the way over here too, but that's not Montrega. There is a little bit of Hungary over in Nazov. Mongolia still exists. I haven't looked at the map in a while. Let's take a quick gander. Uh, excuse me? How did the boar you can get this big? Oh, Mongolia still exists there, too. Oh, Mongolia is bigger than, you, than I remember. Oh, I rot horde, of course. There is Rus, but it's broken up. Uzbek's got its pieces go time. Nanshu Ming has exploded. Look at Dali. Oh, that's a, a lot of wastelands, though. Oh, no, actually, none of that's wasteland. Good for you, Dali. Japan exists. Hosokawa is still separate. Shimatsu as well. Korea is tiny. She is all over the place. Kutai. Malacca has gotten some strength. Ayutthaya. Represent. And I have no idea what's going on in Australia. It does not exist to me. This is all one country. It's Betsimi Soraka. What? Morocco 
Morocco said the Cape. My God, Morocco has colonized the Cape. Morocco is a force. Are they out here yet? I don't know, because it's Terra Incognita. Holy crap, Morocco. I've been off here just getting my Scandinavian hold, and meanwhile, the world has been passing us by. Wow, five minutes in, we haven't hit the timer, so let's play. We're getting ready to go to war with Leon. I'm assuming I have a reason. I do. Flat out conquest. The creek won't be in. Oh, man. Should we buy him out of debt? <laughs> Here, take this generous loan. By the way, we're going to exterminate you. Don't, don't pay attention to that. Poland would be in. I might call Poland in. Poland, how many uh, how many favors do we have? If it's more than 20, we're definitely going to call you in. It's 29! Into this war you shall be called. And then the Denmarkian War. And I'll even give you some of the Teutonic Order if you would get... Oh, they're, oh, they're only allied with them. The Teutonic Order is not allied with them anymore. It's 1665. That means last year they broke the truce somehow. I don't know what happened, but I like it. Oh, they probably didn't honor the call when Turov decided to attack. Hmm, interesting stuff going on in the world right now. Which means I can attack Denmark and Norway by themselves. Oh, this is not good for you people. Alright, so what I have to do is, as much as I would love these ships to explore... Um, where, where are they? I'm here somewhere. we got to come back home. Because so I've got to get some, some troops into Leon. So I'm going to come here. Um, and once they're there, we're going to do that. Now, we'll take the military tech because we're about to go to war, and it's an infantry shock and a tactics level? Yeah, I, I think for sure. Um, Diplo tech, how much is this going to cost me? 523. Yep, so we'll still have plenty of dip left to make our peace treaties. Okay, so that's our tech. We're not going to do the kind of theory because we're going to war. 8% is not insurmountable. Here come my ships. They are repairing in the coast. They are 100% repaired. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Hamburgians. Although, hold on. It is the, you know, what is the Hamburgian unrest without the troops? Let's take out our, check out our negatives. Local traditions, that's going to stay forever. Positive stability is good. Friendly troops is five. It'll still be negative 3.3. Separatism is almost gone. Okay, so yeah, we can move them. So these guys are going to come over to my own. And then, um, you know, Poland and I are going to wreck. I think I'm going to pay off the creek debt because I really want to take land from the creek. Um, do, 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 do. Send gifts. Send gifts. I haven't done this in a while. Give them a loan? Now they're already in debt. Send them a gift. Pay off their loan? I mean, we're going to get the money back anyway. Now they shouldn't be in a loan. So now they should be willing to fight in this battle. I have no diplomats. Oh, 60 day return time. Yikes. Lotharingia, can I uh, claim another province? I can. Perfect. What do I want? Um, can I claim Ghent? Must already be done. Picardy and Henanau. Henegau. Yeah, I want that. I want the stuff over here. Um, as was rightly pointed out, I don't have... Uh, I lost this claim. Yeah, so I need to get more claims on Norway again. Uh, which means I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna bring back Denmark. Might be a little unpopular, but I need another diplomat while the guy's coming back from the creek. And we're going to build our spy network again. 2.2% risk of discovery. Let's wait until the war is on, maybe. In which case, we will go back to Denmark. Just kidding! I love how we still have 1,100 ducats. Dispute of succession with who? Oh, who cares? Galray are starting to get annoying. Where are they? Is this Galray? It's a tiny, tiny little place. About to get wiped off the map. By me! Alright, let's, let's take a look at this war. The Creek are in, which is good. Toulouse is not, so fewer... Fewer Navy, which is good. Uh, 41 in debt. You know, we're not going to buy that off. We will call in Poland for sure. Um, 
We will take Normandia as our goal because it's harder to siege and I actually want this to take a longer war so I have time to go take the creek. Alright, so I think we're just about ready. Um, that last set of troops, are they moving right now? Yeah, so let's let them get home. Uh, should we order more? We could order two more, but that's not good to me. I like odd numbers. Our ships are fine. We are recovering. Um, now my transports will go back over here to explore what's going on over here. Might have to fight those guys for Norway. What's the next idea? It's the final idea. I get a new leader, I get cheaper advisors, and I can pick up infantry combat or trade efficiency. Hmm. But it's all my admin points. Do I want to spend all my admin points to finish this group? Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. The next group will be something with a colonizer, probably. Alright, do I want to enact a policy? Um, Fleet Surgeon is real tempting. I mean, infantry combat ability is no joke either. What are my policies right now? I'm spending dip and admin. So I really should spend military if I'm going to spread it out. I'm about to go to war. I could take another policy, maybe two. our tolerance of heretics right now. 1.4. Mm. I don't know if I really want to bring that down to the same tolerance of faith as Muslims. It's already tough enough to, to get this dude. Although it's religious zeal. If I didn't have religious zeal, we could do it. Boy, I wish I could take another aspect of faith, don't you? What did I pick? Idea costs, discipline, morale. It's pretty solid, to be honest with you. I have anyway, basically. 312. Ooh, I'm a 636! We gotta take advantage of this while we can. Um, I will have to bring my air into combat, I think. Well, first off, I can have military leaders. I can have three leaders without cost. So we need to spend depth to get an admiral. That's that's damn good. What the hell is our naval tradition? 55! Wow! That's that's good. Hey guys. I think you'd have the admiral. Okay, then I need a leader. A one one one. Perfect. Let's try again. Two three zero one is better. We're gonna dismiss that loser. Try one more time. Zero two one. Alright, one more time. One two zero. God, these guys are both just scum. Um out of my air, yes. He's also bad. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so leading this charge will be um, the 2301, I guess. That's just awful. Nothing but one-star generals. That's what happens when you focus on a navy. Uh, these dudes will be led by uh, Oliver Middleton, the 120. And these guys who can't get anywhere. That was not planned well. but can I get access through you? Give me a royal marriage, so yes. So I can march through Poitou. Can I get through Denmark to do it? No, because they hate me. Makes sense. Kind of pissed them off. Um, Alright, I gotta bring I gotta bring the ships home again. They're here, at least. Let me see what's, what they got going on here. Nine units in Leonese Canada. here? No? Okay. Truce with Denmark is over. Boy, I'd love to attack you, but I'm kind of busy. Who has you? Leon! God! Oh, they are essentially the Castile of this game. Um, you gotta come over here, because we gotta ferry these guys somewhere else. Alright, so you get over there, you'll be fine once you get over. 
Um, it's time, I think. Because I'd love this army to be able to do something. Now we're going to bring Paul in, and Paul can help. Okay, so the first things we want to do is when we declare this war, we want to be over here. So, Leon. We're going to war because you're a scurvy dog. We are taking Normandia. We are calling in Pol... Oh, my God. The Byzantium would... I mean, now we could wreck them. I have 23 favors with Byzantium. Okay, Leon, it just got real bad for you. So Poland and Byzantium are in. We're going to go against the Creek. I almost want to bring the Navajo and the Pequot into this now. I mean, what do I care? Hey, Creek. Who are your allies? Oh, God, it's just the Navajo and the Pequot. I mean, the Navajo aren't going to mean anything to us. We could get some serious gains here. Anyone has this too? Jesus. I could give that to the Byzantium if they want it. Egypt's up in the Ca in the Caspian. That's no good. Oh, the black. Sorry. That's no good. Poor Gein's in the Caspian though. Crazy. Alright, focus. Focus. We're not declaring war on the creek. We're declaring war on Leon. Calling in Poland and Byzantium. We're going to take Normandia. I, I sort of want a co-belligerent creek. Yes, I'm going to do it. Alright, so this is our war situation now. We have all of our fleets, or all of our ships activated, which is sort of silly. We're going to come down in, into Leon and start wrecking havoc there. You are going to immediately move on this province. You guys are going to move on the creek. Because that's all I can. Oh, they're not in the war yet. You're gonna move into here. Okay. Um. Yeah, go go take care of the rebels. They're coming home. All right. I don't mind so much that these guys are are floating. I'm assuming I can't walk here. No. Um. Transport fleets are busy. Do I want to come here, or do I want to go to the New World? I mean, here, right? We'll get access through Poitou. Can we get access through the Aztecs? No. Can we get access through Toulouse? Yes. Okay, so we'll go through uh, Poitou and Toulouse. Uh, Denmark, can I claim anything? No. 35, okay. So we'll get access through Poitou and Toulouse. So you just kind of walk through... I wish I could get access through Denmark. Boy, that's the, that's the worst. It's so close. Could I get access through Lotharingia? I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, so we're going to have to bring them over here, land them, and walk them through. That's fine. We can do that. Even with the forts turned on, we still have positive income. That's unbelievable. Controlling the English Channel certainly has its benefits, doesn't it? All right, let's uh, zoom in here a little bit. Cities demand old rights. Burgers lose loyalty and stability or lose legitimacy and they gain loyalty. Forget the legitimacy, it will come back. I'd love to get a fort in there, but not much you can do there. I mean, not a fort, to get ships. Wow, that's a long way. They'll be back, though. Uh, let's go down to speed three during the war. Okay, so we're going to pause. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Nantes. I thought it said Navy for a second. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here, bro? Hey, bro. I'd like to come on through. Hey, bro. I'd like to come on through. Thanks. Let's go Rex. Let's go Rex, Leon. Hey, Leon. I don't know where you're bringing your, your, your men. But I don't think you want to. Oh my god, we can march through. How did we get access? Oh, that's real bad. Oh yeah, you didn't want that at all. That's real bad. I have no idea how we got access through these guys. Who are you giving military access to? <gasps> Byzantium. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Yes! 
doing the work of a thousand men. This war is going to be amazing. We got to stop here, but it's going to be fantastic. I am so excited about this war. We're going to just wreck Leon. I'll give Byzantium whatever they want. Poland, unfortunately, is not going to get anything out of this except the, the joy of and prestige of helping a fellow citizen of the world. And we are going to get into North America and get Leon out of France. It will be a beautiful, beautiful thing. For now, though, we are out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers.